Good morning, Bratustan. How are you? I got a video here from the uh, Festival of Parat, uh, and I will be speaking there when they come to America. Oh, yeah, baby. This is uh, number one enemy of India. Are they outsiders or insiders? Let's take a look. I was struck by what you said, uh, even though that was for the, uh, the geopolitics, world politics, where you said that uh, any foreign policy decision that the government of India takes, it should take the Navy and the military and the Air Force into account. Here is foreign policy, not internal policy. So why did the army take into account? When 10,000 potential budding terrorists, I would call them, the chief of the army staff has made it plain that these are overground workers. They yeah, are helpers exactly. of terrorists. Yeah. Right. First of all, it was again legally and ethically and morally wrong to set them free. They should have been put in jail and those people who interrupt army operations should be shot. Number one. Number two, we must realize that ever since India gained independence, army has <coughs> an army. The biggest enemies of the Indian army are not on the eastern or western borders. The biggest enemies of this Indian army are within the country. They have asked so much from the army without giving anything in return. Aap bataiye, politicians decide that stone pelter should be allowed to go free. Aapne stone pelters ko chhod diya. Again baat hoi hai na. Hmm. Politician ka beta to nahi khada hmm. It is some farmer's son who's standing there, who's getting shot and killed. So they will take the short term uh, views of each and everything. Electoral gain, ho jai, char seat or army. I mean, I, I'm not being critical or I'm not criticizing the army general, yes, or the army chief or the chief of command, but there was no criticism from the army or the military that don't do this. This is stupid. See, the army did sort of bring its point forth, it was not in the media because Haan, these media things, mein tha, haan, so because, sure. because you can't have the Indian army chief general right. Bipin Rawat publicly disagreeing with the government, but I know for sure that the army has. Uh, said that this is not a good idea, don't do it because we'll have to face it. Ek bada famous terrorist mara gaya tha, Samir Tiger. Mm -hmm. Samir Bhatt tha uska naam, he was called Samir Tiger for some reason. And people really celebrated the killing of Samir Tiger. Samir Tiger was a stone pelter who became a terrorist. Mm -hmm. After leaving uh, stone pelting, uh, he was the thing and stone pelting ka ek aur problem hai. I spoke to a, I spoke to a policeman from downtown Srinagar. Stone pelting chal rahi thi. Aur jab stone pelting chal rahi thi, I asked this guy. I said, Stone pelting hoga, aapko to badi problem hai. Kera sahab, woh pathar nahi phek raha. Woh mere upar do-do hazar ke noto ki gaddiyan phek raha hai. Mayna bola, matlab? Kera sir, sab ka mayna shakal video mein le li hai. Now what the policeman will do is they'll go to his house, they'll extract money from his parents and say ki agar bete ko chodwa na hai, to 20,000 rupay to 25,000 rupay. This is the business in Kashmir. So everybody, and I'm not deriding the JNK police, it's a very fine force. Jammu and Kashmir police ne bahut shahadat in diya. They've really done a fantastic job. But there are elements in Jammu and Kashmir police which have isolated the population also. But yes, the thing is that anybody who picks up arms against India, right? Then there is no forgiveness. There is no coming back from that. Yeah, I thing. agree. That I agree. person needs to be killed. I, <laughs> yes, well. Yeah, uh, you got you got to respect the major. I agree. I agree. I think that um, one one of the avenues that I see as an enemy against India really is is a segment of the film industry uh, that is. And, and the reason I keep coming back to this is because I remember when I was a young man and I was studying history, and there was a quote from Karl Marx, who said, "If you give me the poets." And the musicians, I'll take a generation. And I think there's an element within India, within film industry, within Bollywood, that would like to see this idea of India as a Hindu nation be brought down and reformed into an atheistic slash uh, something else, a non-religious state, because it, it, it serves the idea of a new world order, of having everybody the same right everybody the same and uh and we can't have these individual ideas we can't have this idea of a faith that ties the family together that brings uh you know the mighty power baratustan uh to bear on the world on its people on its economy that people can flourish and thrive because you need to be a cog put into the new world order system and and do what hey sit down and shut up and just do what we tell you to do right 
and and I think that is the case of it. And, and it's been going on in America for quite a while. And we see America, India is becoming more like how America was. America is becoming more how India was. We have typhoid. We have the bubonic plague is breaking out. We have all these weird diseases that we thought were eradicated are showing up in America, and uh, and it's and it's terrible. So. Peace and much love, man. I'll catch you guys later. I hope you have a good day. Greetings. I am Minamoto no Yoshitsune, number one samurai in Japan. And I am here to greet you on behalf of Movie Community College. The professor and the warrior queen would like to ask you to subscribe to their channel, Movie Community College. They are close to 200k and they need your help. Please like and subscribe to Movie Community College or face the wrath of Japan's number one samurai.